Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term cancer survivor, cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to the vlog post about actinic keratosis. In my case, I'm not a skin cancer survivor, though I have an increased risk of um, skin cancer, melanomas, uh, pre-melanomas, -mel pre non-melanoma skin cancer. All of the therapies, all the toxicity I underwent in the 90s has um, increased my risk of all manner of skin problems. To be honest, I sat out in the sun and burned frequently as a young person. Not good decision making. So, uh, the issue, um, AK, actinic keratosis, first and foremost, actinic keratosis is not cancer. It increases our risks, those who get AKs, AK patches, of getting non melanoma skin cancer, but by itself, it's not cancer. It's basically sort of a rough, sandpapery patch. Um, can be quite small. I've had several. The challenge is removing them, especially if they're on our face, removing them sort of cleanly without scarring. Um, according to the article, um, the research link below, uh, basically sort of a combination, complementary or integrative therapy. Supplementation with vitamin D3 and coupled with photodynamic therapy has been shown to remove um, AKs cleanly. To be specific, just supplementing with uh, vitamin D, um, it's a fairly inexpensive um, supplement. You can buy online, it's easy. The challenge is to determine not what you're taking, but how much gets into your blood. There are blood um, lab corpus. Certainly you can go to your doctor and, and get your vitamin D um, levels checked in your bloodstream. But in my case, I order um, the test through LabCorp and I go to my local drugstore, Walgreens. Um, it's easy. It's, I do it once or twice a year. It's easy. Um, so, and the, the study talks about um, the specific measurement, more than 30 um, nanograms per deciliter. It's a little tricky. Getting the unit of measurement is important as well. So, and, and, and I supplement um, daily, and I have between 30 and 40 over the years, 30 and 40 nanograms per deciliter. So. If you have any questions, comments, scroll down the page. Um, for the record, again, AK, not cancer, but it, it can be unsightly. You might want to remove it um, from your face, but cleanly. So this is one therapy that, according to research, works well. If you have any questions, comments, scroll down the page. Send me a question, let me know. I will reply to you ASAP. In the meantime, be well and thank you for your time.